Hey everyone, John Doyle from Optics EQ and today's video race of the day. I'm gonna take a little different approach. This is Friday, February the 4th. Instead of doing a race and kind of go into detail with it, I'm gonna actually look at a couple of races and I'm gonna look for horses um, that have a unique keyword called improve. And you, you, people that are familiar with us know about our notes product. And what our notes product has is these keywords. And we have these keywords called projected keywords. And when they're green, they usually mean that the horse, we're expecting improvement in the horse. And we have one that's actually called improve. And so uh, I'm gonna look for horses that have that characteristic and I'm gonna dig down and see if they are fit for today's racing. So I'll show you how to do that, right? So we're looking for horses with an improving form, but also fit the conditions of today's race. I go into rod, um, let me just step back out. You see it's the button here, rod. You get that when you buy notes. So if you don't have notes, you don't get that button. But you do, this is a really cool utility because it allows you to kind of search and sort for different things and filter <clears throat> on different things. And I like to always filter on green keywords in the last race, so that's GW1. And again, there's a dictionary and filters up here to tell you how to do that. Filter, operation, help, keyword dictionary. So, but uh, I'm just looking for GW1 because that means a green keyword in the last race. <clears throat> And those are the horses that come up with a green keyword in the last race. I want to focus on the keyword or the projection keyword improve. So what this gives me is horses that we project to improve in their next race based on their you know, recent racing and most current race. And uh, you see there's a list of six horses. And generally what I'll do with, with a list like this is just go down one at a time and determine if the horse is a fit. We know that maybe this horse is going to improve, but is he fast enough? Uh, is he at the right level? Those types of things you have to answer and handicap, okay? So let's go to the first horse. It's number one. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Fairground Race 1 and the horse is Mean Canyon. Uh, and this is the grid for that race, okay? And you know, he's got the improve. He had a better than looked effort last time. Uh, it was his third race off a of layoff, so he expected a maximum effort. And you can see just from a, let me just filter on him so we can kind of focus on him for a second. And you can see that uh, his optics figs, even though he had a bad uh, trip last time, are still on the improve, 63 to 72, 73. So he's a horse on the improve. He's got some back numbers as a two-year-old. And if we project forward, probably can do better than the 73. So, you know, typically when a horse, if he runs a winning effort, he improves by eight uh, optics fig points in a sprint and six in a route. So if we were to give him the eight points, he would be 81, which would fit this range very nicely. So um, there's nothing saying that he can do that uh, based on his form, right? So he's kind of, he may not be fast enough right now, but based on his recent race and based on past form, he's got some upside. Uh, from a class perspective, I'm gonna just go into class competition. Um, it's a little bit below in class, but not dramatically below in class. Speed figures, we talked about. He's kind of, you see he's on the improve on speed figures. Uh, and then um, if we look at where he's positioned in the plot from just a track profile, he's above. So he's, um, I guess him, the two, five, and seven look above the line for that perspective. So he's plots in quadrant two. Um, so I guess it's okay. He, he's, um, he just seems like a fit. Four to one looks a little light. Um, but, uh, you know, he's a horse definitely that I would see, just watch the board and, you know, see how they're, how he comes out on the track. But that's a horse that's, I would say, fits the conditions and the improve makes sense for the, that horse. So, you know, anything four, five to one looks like a decent bet. So I'm going to go down to the next one on our list, uh, Mr. Bauma, Bauma, and that's uh, at Gulfstream Park. I'm going to kind of focus on him. He's going to be running in an optional claiming race. And, and he's got the improve, uh, his numbers look a little light compared to the range, right? But again, these are two year olds, so give him a little leeway. He ran an 80 in a second race, so there might be more upside. I mean, they thought a lot of this horse that they put him in a grade one the next time out. Uh, so just pay attention to that. And the last race he was against the flow and trouble and, and projected improvement in that, off that race. Let's look at the extended comments. Very important to look at these extended comments, especially with young horses. Taken out of his game first few times uh, out of the gate with a awkward stumble. Okay, so trouble in the beginning. He was against the flow. Still ran a decent, you know, race, I guess. But let's look at that race. I'm going to drill down that race. 
uh, because it's come back pretty strong. Uh, and, and the way you do that is you double click that run line, you get the plot and then you click grid. I just wanna look at the plot for a second. It looked like the horse that won the race had a pretty good plot. Um, and then you get the grid. And then what I do is I just look at uh, how these horses have done since this race, since the date greater than 1127. And you can see it's come back pretty strong. Uh, we had uh, three in the money finishes. Uh, let's look at from a figure standpoint. It uh, looks like uh, the 12 improved 15 points. The nine improved the uh, good 16 points. The eight improved two points and then another six points um, uh, in his third start. Now the seven regressed, but that was he went to turf and he was in a stakes race. So, I mean, just in general, this race looks pretty strong. He's coming out of. So there is upside there. Again, if we go to that projection, uh, he had trouble in that race. And if he, can, if he can improve eight points, maybe on some of his 80 here, he could put him in 88, puts him in a contender position. And he's going to be a good price, I think. Um, he hasn't been, he hasn't run since 69 days. I looked at his raw workouts and um, you know, pretty good. In fact, his last rate workout is sensational, four out of 133. So looks like he's training forwardly. Uh, he's going to be a big price in this race, but another horse kind of fits the conditions. A little bit of a stretch, but you know you got to kind of give that uh, some leeway when you're talking about the price. And obviously, this horse has got uh, talent, uh, and so that's someone to consider. The other thing to consider in this race too, I noticed, is in the field uh, there's not much in the way of uh, a lot of turf routing. A lot of these horses are sprinting. I mean, turf, turf, dirt. A lot of these horses are sprinting. So, I um, mean, there's a couple of horses here that uh, have won at uh, a mile distance or better, and he's one of them. So another thing to, to consider when you're comparing speed figures sometimes, you know, you may be comparing sprints to routes and, and so forth. So Mr. Bauma, Ma, Bauma is a horse that you want to consider as a tough name. So uh, a horse you want to consider at Goldstream. So another horse that kind of fits condition might be a price. Um, I'm not going to go through the whole list, but it's there if you want to capture it and look at it yourself. I would say that uh, I'm a little uh, against the one, you know, as far as projection in that Oakland race. I just don't think he might fit that condition. But the two is the last one I want to I close with because he's kind of a special thing. And a horse that without having notes, you'll never get on. Now, he may not run, but sometimes these horses don't run. But sometimes when they do, they, they're really boxcar kind of horses i don't know what the morning line is on this horse yet didn't have it uh but number two garretoff this is at laurel race eight on uh the fourth if you look at his run line uh he's got like just everyone else like it just really feels 50s 50 really a subpar field the only horse that's kind of run in the seven the only horse that run in the 70s was, was the uh number four money code uh, and that course is coming out of New York and uh, it had flow in the last race. Just really hasn't shown much upside this horse. So they kind of shipped them. They dropped them. He didn't get the win, even though he got flow. So, you know, they shipped they, I'm sorry, they shipped, they shipped them to New York, try to, I guess, get the money there, sneak them in. But it's kind of got a little progression. I guess he could be the favorite, but nothing exciting about him. And the other horse that ran 70 just kind of ran a big race again at Aqueduct. And now they're shipping them. So those are two horses that are going to take the money. Everyone else is pretty, you know, 50s and so forth. But this two has a lot of upside uh, based on this note alone, right? So he was slow out of the gate. He was trouble the gate, got kicked back, made a move wide. And look at the improved projection we have. Now, look at the, it's important to look at the extended comments because this one's a little bit rare when you see something like this. A bit reluctant to gate, climbing terribly to the dirt in his face, made a subtle middle move, wide move, should improve dramatically. So there's a projection for a dramatic move, you know, maybe a 15, 20 point move, which would put him into contention here. Um, you know, what, what's probably gonna be a really big, big, big price. Okay, so that's the horse you wanna look at and improve uh, from optics notes. And uh, he is dropping a little bit in, in this race, going from a 25 down to a 16. So pay attention. Uh, Garrett off in race eight at Laurel. So again, use notes, to try to kind of help you at least as a starting point, maybe to find horses that might be on the improve using the green keywords and improve. 
and then be able to drill down and make sure the horses kind of fit their conditions or project to fit their conditions. Uh, you know, this is a subject, some of that is subjective, but uh, at least it gets you on horses that might be uh, on the way up versus horses on the way down. Okay. That's John Doyle from Optics EQ. And um, next video is going to be our race analysis for the big races on the weekend for the Kentucky Derby. So I hope you'll listen to that. Uh, remember, come see us at opticseq.com and also subscribe to our YouTube channel here. I'll see you soon. Thank you.